Now the basics of home security really is keep the front and back door locked at all times and it's amazing how many opportunists just look for an open door. So when we are in the home make sure that you keep windows and doors locked. Now it's always a bit of a problem when somebody comes to the door you wonder who is it um, are they a legitimate person? Are they trying to sell me something that I don't want possibly? When we've got a door such as this one, I would suggest that we always keep it locked. And on this door is a chain. So if we put the chain on, we open the door slightly, then it gives us that opportunity to talk around the door whilst the chain is still protecting us. Let's check to see whether or not the person is who they say they are. Now they might have with them identification, so pass it through the gap in the door. Have a look at the picture on the identity card and make sure it's the same, it matches the person who is at the door. And sometimes, sadly, with cons at the door, they can appear quite plausible. So listen to the story, what is it this person wants? If they are legitimate, nobody who comes to your door is going to mind you making an appointment so they can come back when it's more convenient to you and you can have a friend there just to give you that little bit of support. If we were going to collect cash, um, I would suggest that we do it at the most busy times of the day really. You don't want to be remote, uh, isolated, uh, on your own. You want to go there when there's lots of other people around that might come to your assistance should anything happen and they are also potential witnesses. So always avoid remote times. When you go to a, an ATM, you make sure that you get your money out of the, uh, the hole in the wall, but you cover the keypad. Make sure that nobody can see the PIN code that you're using and also make sure that there's nobody in close proximity maybe or maybe just standing over your shoulder watching what you're doing. Most supermarkets now do give cash back facilities. So using a bank account, using debit cards and getting cash back at your local supermarket could sometimes be a safer alternative really. Uh, it is a, a, a thing really with the elderly that we often find that may be just a little bit cautious of banking but um, it's far safer these days to keep your money in a bank. If you are elderly it can help sometimes to have a neighbour that you can rely on. It might be just somebody that just checks on you every now and again just to make sure that uh, everything's okay. Make sure that uh, you know if you can get a friend uh, locally, uh, it does, it's, it, it's great for the company side of it and also communities, strong communities, do tend to deter crime because people do care about one another. So it's always a good idea to build that community spirit. Often when we've got our own telephones at home, there is a possibility uh, that we can get scam calls. And these calls really are people that are pretending uh, to be other people that could be pretending to be from your bank, uh, building society, and on occasion actually pretending to be police officers. Never give away bank or personal details over the phone. Your bank just won't ask for those type of details. Make sure that you keep your private information, your account numbers, your PIN numbers, everything like that, make sure you keep them private and it is then it's secure.